fibromyalgia, symptoms and natural remedies. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, fibromyalgia is classified as a rheumatic autoimmune disorder. And, and so how is it diagnosed? Well, the patient must have or must experience pain in all four quadrants of the body. And the pain must last three consecutive months minimum. And there must be uh, tender points, sort of 11 of the 18 classic tender points must be uh, very sensitive to uh, touch and palpation to really definitively say it's fibromyalgia. So you really need a doctor of chiropractic to make this diagnosis for you. Now there are other related symptoms that often accompany fibromyalgia. There are often sleep uh, disorder problems, f overwhelming fatigue, or not having the energy that you normally would have, morning stiffness in your joints and muscles. There can be you know, a mild depression, recurring headaches not uncommon, tender lymph nodes that get enlarged a little bit, bowel and bladder problems. Often, you know, there's some irritable bowel syndrome that, that happens in conjunction with fibromyalgia. And sensitivity to hot and cold, not uncommon. S some mild anxiety, gastrointestinal disturbances, as I was talking about, digestive complaints, irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, some dizziness can occur and some occasional tachycardia where the heart starts to race. And some environmental allergies or sensitivities often are concurrent with with fibromyalgia conditions. Very often there's low serotonin levels in the brain which can foster some of the depression and allow the pain to be amplified to a much greater degree than would occur otherwise. So medical treatments applied on their own for the treatment of fibromyalgia are often not successful or not completely successful. And this is where nutrition and natural medicine and chiropractic care comes into play because some specific dietary strategies have been shown to be very effective at reducing pain and inflammation. At the same time, there are certain supplements that are really useful. So, supplements that can raise serotonin levels, supplements that can reduce inflammation, antioxidant supplements, more magnesium, some digestive enzymes. In clinical studies, they've been shown to help people with fibromyalgia feel better and help to conquer the condition, things that drugs alone can't do. Electroacupuncture has been shown to be useful. Chiropractic care has been shown to be extremely helpful. So you, you really, but you need to, in terms of the diet and supplementation program, be very clear as to what you're going to do. And with supplements, you have to know the right dosage and the right standardized grade if you're using herbs. You know, most medical doctors don't study nutrition and natural medicine. This is not their area where they're going to be able to help you in most cases. So I've outlined the very best dietary and supplementation strategies in the accompanying newsletter should look it over and sort of follow that protocol as best as possible. So if you have fibromyalgia, then you know, you, this would apply to you. If you know someone who has fibromyalgia, then you should forward this newsletter to them so they can benefit from the information that's contained within the newsletter. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much.